what you ought to stand up from now on and say, I got it. I got it. Yes. I don't feel him all the time to the green, but every once in a while, I feel him moving down in my heart, down in my soul, and I can say, yes. Somebody feel it. I haven't felt it in a long time. I love the Lord. Ah, I love the Lord. Ah, I love the Lord. Yes. He promised it to us. He promised it to us. Why shouldn't I get that which it promised to me? He promised me the Holy Ghost. He told me he'll give it to me. Yeah. He promised to us. He promised it to us. The promise is unto you and all your children and as many as that Lord shall call. And look at them he called since then. The promise, the promise is yours. The promise is yours. Why don't you claim your promise? Why don't you get your promise? I'm preaching it. I'm giving it. I'm passing it out. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. He working, man. Somebody gonna go away from here with the Holy Ghost. Somebody gonna go away from here with their heart for you because I'm putting it out there. I'm putting out what Bishop put in me. He gave it to me and told me to put it out there. He gave it to me and told me to preach it everywhere. And I'm gonna preach it. I got a sack full that I wanna give away here today. I got a handful that I like to pass on to somebody else here today. Y'all say, hell! Yes. Sister Raw, this is what the apostle preached. He preached the Holy Ghost. He preached repentance. He preached being baptized. And if we do this, why shouldn't we get the Holy Ghost? That's what he promised us. I ain't gonna wait until I get old. I ain't gonna wait 10 days. I'm gonna get it today. Yes! And if you die without his spirit, your hell is waiting on you. So I can unhang some moons that the devil done hung up here. here. Take down these suns that the devil done put in your life. And let the true light burn. Let the true sun shine. The same that was in the beginning. The reason you can't get the Holy Ghost, you don't believe our word. If you believe the words that come from our mouth, you got the Holy Ghost. You got it right now. But the devil won't let you believe that. Because you can't see that. The Holy Ghost is God's word. Right there, you ought to win up on your first spirit the same spirit. Yes, sir. 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 Repent and be baptized. And the next thing you're going to get is the Holy Ghost. Now don't try to get it and you ain't repenting. Don't try to get it and ain't been baptized. It ain't going to work. You got to do it like he said. You got to repent 
and then get the baptism and then get the church, come to church and the Lord gonna preach the Holy Ghost in there. I've been seeking for it ever since I've been in the church. I ain't found it yet. That's your problem. You trying to find it. It's already done found you, but you just won't open the door. I've been seeking for it. I just can't find it. It ain't law. It's right here. The words that I preach, they are spirit and they are life and they are the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost and ain't repenting from nothing. Oh, you'll take the baptism because you think that's the easy way out. But you just want to back up because your baptism ain't no good until you come to be a believer. And you go tell that, you tell everything else. And you tell them Bishop Key said it, that that baptism ain't no good unless you come to be a believer. So how you going to be baptized and be saved and leave out believing? You got to back up and be a believer. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But you gotta be a believer. If you be a believer, you got to get the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost is designed for believers. I'm Bishop uh, Wilson preaching. Bishop Wilson preaching. Bishop for You gonna fool around here and go to hell. Somewhere you're going to have to believe that the word that we preach is the Holy Ghost. And you need to believe that there's already in your heart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, come on, man. And without him. And without him. Was not anything made. Now, nah, if wasn't nothing made. If it wasn't made, then what makes you think you're going to be able to do something? Amen. Without him. Amen. Anything that was made because God wasn't there to do it. Cook goose. I'll be by to help eat the goose for supper. Because you're going to have to have it. That's his spirit. And if you had the Holy Ghost, there wouldn't be all this junk going on in the church. There wouldn't be all these divisions in the church. The reason it's going on like this is because they don't have the Holy Ghost. Some have it and some don't. That's why it's so much going on. There's two armies in here. An army of belief and an army of unbelief. And they warning each other. But Lord, I want to be a believer in my heart. I want to be a believer. That got anybody want to be there? Die in the God. I want to be a believer in my heart. Good God, God. I want to be a believer. Yeah, I am. Lord, yeah, I am. Yes. Yes. I want in my heart. I don't know about y'all, but I can feel it moving in my heart, in my heart. I ain't felt them in a long time, but I, I can feel it moving. Devil, devil, day, I got the Holy Ghost because I've been listening about it. But I heard that preacher here today, and I'm going to claim it, I'm going to claim it, I'm going to claim it. Oh! I got it in my heart. Yes, I have. It's hard to set on the word and don't let it go in your heart. It's hard to set on the word. I can see the moving in my heart. I ain't gonna let the devil rob me that no more. I'm gonna claim it and I'm gonna be a believer. And I'm gonna let God use me. I like preaching here. 
Why don't you give him your heart right now? Give him your heart right now. Give him your heart right now. Give him your heart. Give him your heart right now. Give him your heart right now. Hey! Won't you give it to him? Won't you bring some joy here? Won't you bring some joy here? Give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. You believe he did something for you today? How many of you feel that he blessed you here today? How many feel that you, you told you you thought that the Lord had left you out. But all the time he's been putting his word down in your heart. All it takes is a little believing. Hey! It's all right. Check yourself and see don't just see don't come do you. You don't feel so let down, do you? That's what the Holy Ghost do. It pick you up. It lift you up. It encourage you. It lift you up. Hey! I don't feel like too much that today, but it's all right here. They said on the day of Pentecost, they made a choice of no again. After they got the Holy Ghost, they made a choice of no again. Yeah! Hey!
Amen. Bishop them there, we need to offer. Leave your offering at the door. Pastor's here. Come on now, you can do better than that. Judge Coffey, if I didn't ask for an offering, you still got a blessing, didn't you? Everybody ought to be saying, yeah! yeah. Right here, we're going to knock up along and we want to turn the hand of Elder McClary. As he comes, let us say thanks to the Lord. Thanks to the Lord. For you better than the Clary. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. We thank the Lord for us being here today and how the Lord has already gave us our spirit. Easter. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth are Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Don't you know the angels bow before him? Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, Adore him, what a mighty God. Oh, Jesus is his guy, we serve. Oh, Jesus is his God, we serve. Don't you know the angels bow before him? Heaven and earth adore him. What a, what a mighty God, we serve. Oh, don't you know the Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, 